YouTube, back with another video, man. A little quick vlog for you guys, man. You know, it's so important to um to stimulate your mind, man. So it's important to read books, especially books that are going to, you know, really help you in your journey and this uh this path that you are walking and um trying to improve your life. All right, reading books is um during semen retention um you know you're definitely going to gain a lot of knowledge from the books you read and it's very important for us men to you know intellectually um increase right increase our intelligence you know as we're on this journey man so i'm just want to show y'all man i'm just showing y'all a little quick overview um, a list of books that I'm currently reading right now. Some of these books um, I've actually already got done reading. Um, we're going to start with this book right here. This is um, called The Wellness 8 by Jeremy Reynolds. I uh, highly recommend this book. It basically um, takes you on a wellness journey. Um, it's about the Wellness 8 philosophy. It's about Eight distinctive ways to look at life, relationships, happiness, and success. Um, you know, it talks about the eight dimensions. Basically, it's your your physical, your emotional, your um, spiritual, your um, environmental health, um, occupational, financial, um, intellectual health, and uh, spirituality. So it's about really aligning and attuning your eight wellness dimension so this book is definitely going to um give you that blueprint for show so another one another book um got over here quit poor and get rich you know basically the unspoken rule of successful people um it's going to talk about self-control it's going to talk to you about um you know your brain chemistry your hormones your the, the chemicals that are that is in your brain Right. Dopamine rushes, serotonin, you know, what I'm saying basically how to, you know, break the porn habit and, you know, what I'm saying get rid of that addiction. And of course, you know, the Bible is uh, first and foremost, you know, what I'm saying um, I hope none of y'all are I hope not any one of you guys are subscribed to my channel. I hope none of y'all are disregarding the Bible, man, because the Bible you know, there is some truth that is in this Bible. You know, the word Bible, just think about what the word Bible stands for. Basic, basic instructions before leaving earth. So you need this book to give you the basic instructions before you leave this earth. It's common sense. To be real with you, it, it, it's common sense. Now, you know, I recommend anybody that has a Bible, you know, you learn something from it. You know, you educate yourself, you know, of learning God's word. Um, Another book, we got False Alarm, The Truth About the um, Epidemic of Fear. Now, I have not actually got fur further in this book. I'm actually just in the beginning stages of this book, but um, it basically it's, it's basically going to you know tell you about you know how people overreact to fear, overreact to like news propaganda, you know how the how everybody's been reacting to COVID recently, just the um the bombarded um negativity that is the news and the media that they uh promote and. You know, basically telling you how about, you know, how people get so, you know, get so afraid and um, they're so they're so they're so in fear of, you know, of what the news and the media put out. And then we got, you know, Corona, you know, is it a false alarm? The facts and figures. Um, This is another book that I um highly recommend. But I am actually not further in this book myself. Um, you know, definitely want to figure out, you know, more about, you know, this Corona. You know, I, I don't want to talk more about it on my channel, but, um, you know, that's definitely for a different topic. Um, yes, another book that everybody should have. 
right here is um, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Everybody should, if you don't have this book right now, man, I recommend you buy it off of Amazon. Um, sure, it's not expensive, you know, probably, what, 20 bucks? You know what I'm saying? This is definitely going to give you the blueprint, you know, the um, the fundamentals of having certain qualities and certain elements of, you know, a accumulating wealth in your life, man. You know, it talks about being persistent. It talks about, you know, sexual transmutation, um, you know, specialized knowledge and all that stuff, man. So if you are on your self-help journey, um, this book right here is the number one. The number one book you should have in your book collection. Um, so yeah, moving on. We got Chakra Healing. Um, yeah, this is a book that I feel like I had to um, look into and, and personally invest into because, you know, I'm at a point right now in my spiritual journey where I'm trying to, um, you know, align and attune my seven chakras. Right now, I'm working on my sacral chakra. I'm working on attuning that chakra to where I can, you know, unblock the energy flow and then work my way up to the uh the solar plexus chakra, then you know the heart chakra, then the crown chakra, um third eye, um yeah, basically work my way up. And um so yeah. Um it talks about food and diet, talks about essential oils that you should um look into crystals, obviously yoga, uh, meditation, behavioral changes as well. Um, yeah, it's about locating your, your symptoms or a lot or uh, your alienment, um, and where you feel blockages in your, in your chakras to where, um, you're having a hard time, you know, aligning your root chakra. You may need to do something that's going to, um, you know, unblock, the root chakra, unblock that passage wave, that passage uh, wave, you know, um, you know, learn what chakras are blocked, you know what I'm saying, apply different chakra healing techniques and all that, uh, so yeah, I'm still learning about that stuff myself, um, definitely got to read more of that, um, another book that I'm tr um, really getting myself into, um, you know, shout out to my man Giga HD, the, the, the 10 principles of the legendary man, the legendary man. Um, I actually just got this book yesterday in the mail, and uh, I'm finna go read it, man. I'm finna, uh, you know, indulge myself into uh, the, the knowledge and the wisdom, and you know, basically just learn ten principles of how to be a, a legendary man. And you know that 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 book right there, man, is like a no. It's a no brainer. You know, a lot of people should definitely invest. Um, their time and money into a book like that that can definitely help them further into their journey. Um, so yeah, this book right here, we got the Meet Your Straw Man and Whatever You Want to Know. Um, yeah, this book is like I'm halfway through it. This right here basically talks about the um, the shadow government, um, talks about how the government has indoctrinated us, um, you know, talks about, um, you know, the, the legalese terms, juris, you know, jurisdiction, you know, the court system, um, you know, birth certificates, um, all that. Like, just the fraudulent activity that, you know, that goes on with the U.S. government and talks about how the U.S., you know, the United States is really just a corporation. It's not really a country. It's a business. It's a corporation. It's commercialized and all that stuff. And, um, yeah, the last book I got right here is, um, it's blank. You can't really see the title of it, but as I open the book, um, yeah, there you go. The, the title is right here. Millionaire Success Habits by, uh, Dean Graciosi. Um, <clears throat> as I was like starting to read books again, um, you know, I was, I was a type, I was a type of guy, man. Like I didn't, you know, I wasn't really so keen on reading books when I was a lot younger especially like in my teenage years like I had no interest I had no like no real um I just I just did not want to read you know like I was just not 
into that, into books. I wasn't into knowledge. I was kind of a lazy guy. You know, I was really lazy with my time and I just was not, you know, hell bent on trying to gain some type of knowledge or educate myself through reading books. And, you know, if, you know, if you want to ever hide something, man, you ever want to hide some real knowledge, you know, hiding, hide it within a book. You know what I'm saying? Like you hide that shit in plain sight because the most truthful things that are said, it's in a book. The most, you know, golden king type of knowledge that you can ever attain is in a book, you know, and something that nobody's going to tell you in real life. You know, the secret ingredients, the, you know, the blueprint, you know, all the specialized knowledge is in books. And, you know, it really takes time and it takes a lot of mental focus in order to get yourself invested into a book. And, you know, this right here is one of the first books I was reading, you know, since really, you know, when I really started to look into my life. And I got this book in 2019, uh, around two years ago, you know, The uh, Millionaire Success Habits, The Gateway to Wealth and uh, The Gateway to Wealth and Prosperity. And, um, yeah, this is one of the first books that I actually picked up, you know, when I really got into wanting to read books again and, you know, and it led me to having this whole collection of books. Obviously, obviously, I got a little bit more books in my collection, but these are the uh, collection of books that I want to show you guys, um, you know, show you guys basically what I've been reading and, uh, you know, how I, you know, how I use my time sometimes and how I um, gain certain information, certain knowledge. Um, yeah, some of these books I've already I've already finished reading. Most of these books, maybe about five, six of these books, I got I to, gotta like, uh, finish up and, uh, you know, learn more about. So, yeah, man, like, subscribe, and share this video. Uh, comment below on what books that you are currently uh, reading right now. Um, yeah, man. So, yeah, reading books, man, it's like... It's important. It's important to read. It's important to educate yourself. It's important to gain uh, more intellectual power. It's it's healthy to stimulate your brain. You know, um, it, it surprises me, man, because not a lot of people read. You know, not a lot of people can find the time, find the energy to actually sit down and read a book. And the problem is with this uh, with this generation is that. Oh, I never had the time to read a book. I just don't have the energy. I don't really have, you know, I'm too busy. We all know that's bullshit because at the end of the day, nobody is really that busy. And you know what I'm saying? Like nobody's that busy to not just pick up a book and read it. Like you never know. Like people are so, um, some people are just so close minded to a lot of knowledge and, you know, they don't want to open themselves up and, you know, really learn something and really educate themselves. But yeah, I'm really big on educating myself. I'm very big on self-improvement. I'm very big on, you know, you know, gaining more intellect, uh, more intellect, intellectual power and, uh, really working and training my brain, reprogramming my brain actually. And, you know, reading these books, man, have, um, definitely helped and have really reshaped, uh, my brain functions, right? It has really rewired my whole brain chemistry, I feel like. And, uh, yeah, if you guys don't have any of these books that I have, like, you know, on out on the table in front of me, I, you know, suggest that y'all look into these books.